I had no idea when you moved here that you were living in the orphanage. In the orphanage. You know, I, I remember um, talking to you and you know, I'd be like, oh, where, where, you, where do you live? And Oh, in, in Perignacki. Oh, okay. And I was thinking, yeah. oh, maybe, you know, like uh, yeah, BF Homes or yeah. Moonwalk or somewhere. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, because I had that, that stereotype, you know, I was cover- I've been covering them for, for quite some time. And then, you know, a, a typical you know, Filipino foreigner mm-hmm. playing for the Ascals, like Filipino mom, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, Filipino dad coming over, um, you know, okay life in, in, um, in um, somewhere in abroad. And then coming here and playing for the national team, and then and, and then you come along and you have this unique story, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, they get it's as diverse as they come now. Mm. <laughs> Their background. Yeah, I, even if I came here, I didn't feel foreigner because I like to stay with Filipino people because I like how to observe how they are and how. To understand the culture and basically my country, so is that why you decided to stay in the in the orphanage when you first moved? I decided to stay because uh, honestly, f- for I wanna help Sister May, but also them. They I was really really help myself. Yeah, and they helped me. They don't didn't do it. They are not doing nothing special. Eh? But the way how they are and the kids how they are, they really teach me daily how it's important is what I have. You know. Yeah. Because some kids they sometimes they are more mature than me. They provide from themselves everything. They cook. They clean. They they go to school themselves. You know. They do what they have to do. Sometimes, you know, we complain what we have to do or what we have. But in the end, this, if you have a daily example, how the life is hard, I think it makes your journey and then you go through with a better attitude. Yeah. Well, well, so, uh, you, know, you mentioned Sister May. She's, <coughs> she's very, very important to your life. But, and she was there when you got ad- ad- adopted right uh, 30 yeah it was um, sister may mother flora and sister marilyn sister marilyn actually when my mom came because in philippines that time there was no apple so my mom came here with a lot of apple and sister marilyn she's the one who stolen apple from from me and my kid and my sister because she like apple so and and, and then uh, how how did you know how how are your relationships with, but particularly Sister May because you've been working together and how has it you know, you know, turned out? How has it evolved over the years? But Sister May, she obviously, uh, you know, me and my sister was one. I think the first adoption from the mission ever, so they remember remember me oh. and my sister like. Okay. And then I am only the one from adopt that came really there to stay there. So I mean, it's like my mom. I mean, I came here also in Philippines to find my family or my mom or whatever. But I found my family there, apart my my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. So so those for those who haven't seen the movie yet. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, that in the movie, you know, the way that the yeah. Actually, we didn't find her. We have another way, but honestly, I give up because is uh, I learned in the past that if it have to be happen, it has to be happen. You cannot force something because you never know. How how many years did you work on finding y- your family? Three years. So three years, you're you're play football. Since I came here after uh, six, seven months, they were asking me if you wanna find my mom and dad, and they say it's okay, let's try. It. But it's hard, you know. Thirty-four years ago, it's, it's hard to find, or maybe they don't wanna be fine, you know. So, 
I mean, look, if you were able to, to see them, if you were to f- see them, what, what, what would you say to them, do you think? Why? Yeah. It's why because I need to know. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, and honestly, I don't know, it's uh, the feeling that, the, that my natural mother, when the time they gave me away, mm-hmm. But in the end, it was my luckiest moment ever because at the end, I see I met a real family in Italy. It was amazing. So in her bad vibe, it gave me my best luck. Yeah. And not from my mom. I would like to know if I have a brother or sister. For sure, I have. If you guys see this in just the future, someone, someone will look at me. <laughs> <laughs> just call me right away. Yeah, okay. Maybe at the mall, maybe somewhere. <laughs> BGC or maybe or where, <laughs> where you are hiking somewhere. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Some village guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you, you really feel you're, you're, you're from... Uh, I came from the mountain. I, mm, they say from Bicol or Kamsur, but we, we still don't, we don't know. Thank you for watching this episode of Across the Line. To watch the full episode, you can catch us on YouTube, as well as downloading the episode on Google, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts.